Okay, so today we are following the big and terrible white fly. Cabbage white fly is all over from about central Canada south, and you probably have these guys. Here in the Pacific Northwest, we get a few. Um, I looked for eggs so I could get pictures of eggs, and I looked for uh, larvae, and I couldn't find those either. Um, uh, the cabbage white fly um, goes after your mustard plants. Anything that's uh, in the mustard family, uh, that would be mustard, any of the brassicas, and uh, uh, radishes. They'll lay eggs on the leaves and the eggs will stay there for a while and then when they hatch the larva, a little worm, a caterpillar will come out and just start munching away putting huge uh, holes in the leaves and stuff there are several things you can do about it um, there's a couple of uh, diseases you can actually give these things I think and several things to do, the best thing to do though really is to uh, look under the leaves for the worms or the eggs and kill them. So if you have brassicas, uh, any of the kales, any of the cabbages, broccolis, cauliflowers, um, you might check your radish leaves and stuff like that too just to make sure they're not spreading them more and more. Keeping them down to start with when you first see these guys, uh, well this girl, it's a female, two dots states female, one dot states male. It's good good idea to try to keep down their activity around your garden. They do flutter awfully low. It's very possible that you could uh, just put up a barrier up about five, six, seven feet to keep them from going in or cover it with chicken wire or something if you have brassicas or something, net them around them. And um, some people even put stuff up to flutter around to you know scare them off, keep them from being around. Quite frankly, here in the Pacific Northwest, every year I deal with about four or five of them total, and um, I just try to deal with them when I see the the fly. So knowing the fly is the important part. Once you know the fly, then you can go after the fly and keep them away from your garden. Just kill the ones you can, and you don't want to throw diatomaceous earth everywhere because that kills the bees too. You know what do you do? <laughs> you know, chase them off. I feel I was really lucky getting these uh, shots of this uh, butterfly moth, whatever it is, this fly to uh, to be able to show it. Um, it's pretty important to know, and I hope you'll share it with everyone you know who has a garden and who likes to grow cabbages, because uh, this guy here could take out a few cabbages. So it's good to know what it is that's eating them. My biggest pest problem still remains to be the slug. And if you know what slugs are, then uh, your cabbages are probably scared too. At least our slugs aren't poisonous like they are in some parts of the world. Alright, well, uh, not a whole lot in the episode. More of uh, saying, hey, this thing's going to eat your cabbages. Uh, watch out for him. Uh, I give you all the information. I've got some stuff down below of what uh, a few websites to go look at for more information on this particular bug. They're all over the place, so watch out for them. I know we've got them here. <laughs>